Yes, question. So with the, obviously with a forward, it's easier to align your cash flows because you don't have to pay at a moment's notice. And you know, you know when, right. you don't know how much. You don't know how much, but you okay. know that at a certain time you'll need a certain, like yeah. you could ballpark how like the reserves yeah. that you need. But with the future, you have to be able to pay at a moment's notice. At a, at a moment's notice, for yes. For an extended period of time. So how do, how does that affect like how banks, if they're deciding yeah. to engage obviously in futures instead of forwards, wouldn't they need, like maybe they need more reserves for a longer period of time and therefore they loan out less? Or like how is that, how does that impact? Yeah. Okay, so the question is, so let me just repeat the question, that, that it is definitely true here. So here's the, here's the futures price. This spot price is an asset price. Asset prices can fluctuate all over the place. So, so yes, the futures price can fluctuate a lot. And whenever it does, a payment has to be made, and you don't really know. These are, this is a random variable, right? And so that's a random variable, and so you don't really know is the point. And so what is the consequence of that for your uh, behavior if you're holding a futures. Now, remember how I introduced the futures in the first place. I said the banks are using the futures to hedge forward positions. Okay, so in general, they are, they're, they have, they have long forward positions that they're looking to hedge. Okay, so from their point of view, the price fluctuations are just equal and opposite of some fluctuation in the forward market. Okay, the, the value fluctuations are, so they're hedged in that sense in terms of value fluctuation just by construction. The people on the other side of that might not be. You know, there's a naked speculator out there somewhere um, who is being paid to take this position and they have to come up with margin and they, they're the ones who are going to have to worry about, about they're, they're unhedged by definition. If they were hedged, then they're not absorbing the, the, the net imbalance of the forward position. Okay, somebody has to be unhedged, okay, or else you're, it's all matched book in the world, okay. Um, what the bank is not hedged against, okay, is this liquidity risk, okay, but the bank is a bank, you know, and the, the bank is hedged in liquidity risk in the sense that it has access to the discount window, it has all these interbank relationships that allow it to borrow more readily than a regular speculator, so it is natural from this point of view, for the bank to be in this business because it has a, it has a comparative advantage in, in taking on liquidity risk. It's natural for it to be, to be in, in that kind of business. Now they're expecting, of course, uh, that this is going to be, that this is, that this is a hedge, um, so they, they're not expecting to lose any, any, any money on that. Um, the, uh, the speculators um, are, are facing this liquidity risk and they're getting paid for it. Okay, that's the, that's the point. They're getting paid, and what are they getting paid? They're getting paid the, the, the term premium, basically. So it's the difference, the difference between the forward rate and the expected, expected spot rate.